Alrighty guys, well today I'm going to show you all how to replace the diaphragm on a Briggs & Stratton Pulsa Jet carburetor. And I took this tank off and cleaned it up real good. We're going to take a carburetor off the tank, which as you've seen me pull one of the screws out. We're going to put in a new diaphragm. Now, this gas tank was full of oil and gas. I don't know what was causing the oil to mix in with the gas. More than likely it came through the breather right here. We're going to go ahead and take this off. There's a total of one, two, three, four, five screws. I'm just going to take off. Be careful not to strip them out. It's about 90 degrees out here right now. Actually over 90 degrees. So pardon the noise from the fan in front of me. Now you want to make sure the tank is absolutely clean. If there's any grease built up around here, take some carburetor cleaner, spray it off. Be careful though. Alright, this should just lift right off and yep, that is full of oil just like I thought. Oil and old gas. So we're going to take our rag and just gently wipe this off. This right here is the float bowl. We've got to get that clean too. Alright, that's clean clean as it's going to get. This is another reservoir. This is where the dip tube goes down into the tank. This is your dip tube. And this is where the float bowl is. This screen will come off. I don't know why it won't come off on that one, but it will, trust me. So what we're going to do is spray this out. Now I'm putting my hand in front of this to keep it from number one spraying on the camera and number two to keep the fan from blowing it all over me. But you want to spray out every little hole right here. Look at all that oil that just came out of there. Like all this grease that's around here, you want to get it cleaned off because you don't want it getting on top of here. Alright, now we're going to peel off the diaphragm and replace it. Off it comes. We're going to spray out the carburetor too. Now I'm going to do this off camera. Alright, so I sprayed it out and I'll walk you all through on what all to spray out. This is your dip tube like I previously stated. What you can do is take a nozzle of the carburetor cleaner, put it right down in here, and that'll flush out whatever's in this tube out through that screen. Like I said, sometimes this will come off and get dirt all over it, but that's the point of it. This is your diaphragm spraying, make sure that's good. And you got another jet right down in there, and one down in there, and that's pretty much it. This fits in the float bowl, this goes down into the tank. So the diaphragm goes on first, then the top gasket that holds it down, the base gasket. So overall it's going to look like this. Alright, that's your diaphragm, that's your float bowl, and that's where your dip tube goes. You're going to take a carburetor, put it through the dip tube, put it down like that. Make sure everything's lined up as good as it can get. To what I do first to seat the diaphragm is I put one screw in on one corner, and I take another screw, and I put it in the other corner to seat the diaphragm. Alright. That's back together. So now I'm going to show you all how to hook it up on the mower. Alright, so now we're at the mower. If you want to see how to take the gas tank off, I'll show you that in a separate video. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our linkage. Don't mess with these springs. Do not mess with these springs. This is your breather for vacuum going into the motor. Like I said, you're going to hook the uh, throttle linkage right there. So you're just going to take it, bring it over, plug it in. Then you're going to take it and mount it, kind of like that. You're going to put in the stabilizer bolt first. This bolt right here, the little 3 8 that is what stabilizes the tank, makes it level. So you get that started, and you're tighten it up. All right, now you got the spacer bolt. That's what I call it, is a spacer bolt. If you look up in here, there's a spacer. All right, so you're gonna take that and slide it through. Newer models like this, the spacer won't fall out. Older models, the spacer and all will come out. All right, snug it. Now we're gonna get this aggravating breather on. See, it just pops off like that, and the way to get this on 
pretty easy. That's how you do it, you're going to twist it around until it pops on. See you in the next video.